take off one month. Can't. They sick. We used to work with them. They sick. They still come to work. We used to think that they love to work. We say, man, they, 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 they subhanallah. They love the work. They have a, a nice commitment. No. Uncle Sam is behind him. Huh? He has to make those payments. If he don't make those payments, the house is gone. The car is gone. Huh? The TV is gone. We see this. How many of those men run to, to buy? Yeah? Actually, it's a rent to, we take it back in a couple months. I know rent to buy. Huh? Just rent, we're going to come and take it in a couple months. We'll see how far you're going to go. We'll see how far. We send them those little cars and these little vans. You have them here, right? Rent to, rent to work. Rent to for a while. That's what it is. Rent it for a while. We're going to come and get it. Ain't nobody buying nothing. Huh? Rent for a while. We come in and get it later on. That's what it is. That's why they cannot huh? give up their jobs. He can't. He's sick. He's beat up. He got to go to the second job. That's why, subhanAllah, they slaves, huh? Don't be uh, misled. Hey, freedom, freedom. I know such freedom. Freedom is in Islam. That's what freedom is. The freedom when you are free from shirk, free from nifat, free from disbelief. Huh? Being free from being a slave to a human being. That's the freedom. But now they play a number on them. Huh? The slavery of the 60s and 70s. Huh? No more. Huh? Do what you want to do. You know what? One brother told me, one wise brother, Alhamdulillah, he told me, you see, they still slave. Huh? But before in the 60s, huh? the, the rope that they were holding, it was so close to the master, now they let it go a little bit further. He don't know who he's a slave to anymore. He don't even know who he's a slave to. Who's holding the rope before he knows who's holding it because it's right next to him. Now he don't know who. Many. Now he's slave to many masters. Talking about freedom. Talking about justice. You know what justice means? Another wise brother told me that justice means just us. That's what it is. They say just us. I know by the hands. If you're going to deal with, you're going to deal with that. I know justice. Just us. Meaning them. The twelfth reason eh, why me, you, all the Salafis, Yet Muslims should get rid of their TV if they have one. If Musahib Tilfaz Badamoti, the sin of the one, the owner of the TV, even after when he dies. Why? Because they left an inheritance which is a disobedience to Allah and His Messenger to His family. See how evil it is? He dies, leave a TV in the home. Huh? He's living the evil. And the Prophet وسلم, said in the authentic hadith, it's going to be a Muslim, وَمَنْ سَنَّ فِي الْإِسْلَامِ سُنَّ سَيِّئَا فعليه وزرها ووزر من عمل بها من بعده من غير أن ينقص من أوزارهم شيء. And whoever introduced to this deen, huh? or left behind this sunnah, a practice, a way of life, that is an evil, he will be punished, and also 
he will receive the equal amount of punishment and bad deeds for anyone who follows that bad way. When you go home, eh, you watch your TV, and you sin, and it was written for you how many sins you sin before you go to Salatul Fajr, before you go to Salatul Dhuhr, subhanallah. You go home, you go to, to work, to work hard, so you can pay the cable, eh? Yes, you're not watching no TV, but your account with Allah is still receiving bad deeds. Because the wife is watching TV, the kids are watching TV. If the kids bring friends, huh? You get that from those. Well, ayyadu billah. See how serious it is, ikhwan. Number thirteen, shaglu nasi an bikrillah. Huh? That the TV turns the people away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Especially those people who go after Isha and stay up, huh? Program after program, movie after movie, huh? And the movies they start at that time, and then when it's time for Salatul Fajr, he is tired, he's beat up, he cannot get up. That's okay, man. Fajr, man. He can. Why? He was in jihad. Why? What he was doing? Huh? He was benefiting the Muslims with kind of way, huh? Wasting his time. His money, والعياذ بالله, maybe keeping some family members up, keeping the neighbors up, and it is very sad that sometimes some kafir neighbors huh, complain against Muslims because they have the TV too loud. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Shouldn't be the other way. Muslims complain from kafirs. No find the kafir. Complain. Because the Muslim keep the music too loud, keep the TV too loud. Walayyadu billah. So in brief, Allah we say, the 14, خلو المرأة بالتلفاز. The women, this is for the women, pay attention, barakallahu fikun. Women, they find themselves one-on-one uh, -on -one with the TV. When a husband is home, Okay, she gonna watch the CNN. Eh? She gonna watch the cartoon with the kids. She may watch eh, Travel Channel. She hate that. As soon as the husband break north, go to work. Now she gonna go and put her favorite, eh? favorite. Subhanallah. Put the favorite, favorite show. Huh? ولا حول ولا قوة بالله. Who are we deceiving, ya ikhwan? Except ourselves. بارك الله فيكم. And she may see a man that look more, huh? Cuter than her husband. سبحان الله. Huh? Huskier than her husband. Now she gonna face her husband with reality. Huh? Overnight, he can look like that guy, that kafir. Or hasta la vista, baby. That's what it is. You know that magic word? What is it? Khul'a. Hey, hey, brother Imam, can I have khul'a? What happened? What the husband do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. She gonna find all kind of type of lies, not excuses. See the evil? Likewise with men. With men, look at women, pictures. You know who they put on the women. They don't put no ugly women. Only when they want to make fun of them. But they choose all these fancy, faked women because they are not women. They fake. If they are women, they should know that they have to guard their modesty. But they are not women. They slaves in the hands of the Jews. They are a tool and they are a product. Women now are a product that the Jews, that those men that will make money, they promote sex through the women. That's what they do. Now you find the man looking at all these fancy women, 
Those fake women, eh? 